This is Supply House Times editor Mike Miazga here at the Omni 2014 Spring Meeting in Orlando, Florida. Joined right now by Omni President Bob Hoff. Good to see you again. Good morning. Um, over a thousand people here this year. It seems to keep growing every year. Um, yesterday you addressed the uh, you addressed the membership um, with uh, some continued positive numbers, increase in uh, uh, statistical data that came back, and you kind of uh, delve into that a little bit more. Certainly. We um, actually finished 2013 up 10% over 2012, and it's been a, it's been a good year, and uh, a lot better than we had really thought it would turn out to be. As far as the uh, luxury products group, which we just completed, as you know, we were up 34%. Our numbers were up there, not only in attendees for the meeting, uh, both vendor and member, but uh, also, of course, the numbers for the group as a whole, and it's, uh, it's been tremendous. Uh, we're getting a lot of input. Everything we do, of course, is based around participation and participation policies that we have in place. So, again, there's a lot of optimism. We completed uh, yesterday morning. I talked a little bit about our business condition survey, and uh, in the business condition survey, we do that every six months and get a response back from our members. So, we had... Uh, about 80 percent of our membership report back for the survey and in that survey they're looking into two they give you a report six months back as well as six months predicting six months forward and uh, for the forecast going forward 80 percent feel that there will be an increase in total sales in 2014 that's very strong um, while you look at that side of it we also they also report on their inventory levels. Uh, that figure uh, kind of uh, coupled with uh, an inventory outlook of at least maintaining the same levels. Um, I think it was 13% had predicted they would increase inventories. About 50-some percent felt they would remain the same. But overall, again, it's very positive as we look going into 2014. Now you guys are... Um Yes, yes, business is up and numbers are up, but you guys aren't sitting still. You have a lot of initiatives in the pipeline. You talked about two of those in uh, particular yesterday. Can you kind of tell us a little bit more about that? Well, the two initiatives we have, look, we, we're doing anything we can do to augment what our members are doing and, of course, to respond to what they, uh, some of their concerns. One of the concerns is the Affordable Care Act. You know, insurance tends to be the second highest item in in their expenditures so um, next to salaries of course but uh, as they look into uh, going into this year of course their insurance costs are going up and they would have gone up anyway uh, to some degree even without the Affordable Care Act taking place but uh, they uh, were looking at some way that we could help them in that arena and right now we are looking at a captive insurance program uh, we've got a great response, as you saw, you know, from the meetings yesterday. Um, so that's moving forward. Uh, we feel really confident about it. And uh, the other initiative we have is the uh, what we call Fill It Now and uh, FillItNow.com. Uh, we started this three years ago. A lot of time, a lot of effort went into this. Beta groups, uh, what have you, using the site, and uh, the site is running fabulously. I can tell you. Right now, it gives them the ability to go on and search other members' inventories and looking for product. They don't have to go to distribution centers. They, have, they can just go online. They can type in a search engine, type in just like a Google search engine, and be able to look for inventory across the U.S. from a warehouse that's tremendous in size. When you've got 250 members with over 600 locations, that's a lot of inventory that they can search through. So they can pull it up, search for specific product. It tells them where that product is across the U.S. in miles, starting from the one that's closest to them to all the way out, you know, and completing their inventory search. So that's been a, a big plus. There's a lot of opportunities that still are in the background that a lot of us are thinking about for Fill It Now. The, the blueprint's in place, the model's in place, and that'll only grow, and we'll look forward to talking to you about it as we uh, progress in that arena. A lot of exciting things on the horizon. Now, you, uh, this is 30 years for you uh, with Omni. 
um, you've seen a lot. Uh, what, what's, what's, allowed, what's allowed Omni to continue to grow to the size it is today? Well, I think one of the things is the people that we have within the group. They're a tremendous crew, as you could tell. The camaraderie that exists here at this meeting, the friendships that have developed over the years, our vendor partners, and they're, they are fantastic. I mean, they support us, and uh, it's helped us grow significantly. This year, we will, this year, as you know, we reached again the billion dollar level. After the downturn, we've come back now to the billion dollar level, and we're doing nothing but uh, moving forward. That's great. Did you ever, when you started out, did you ever, you know, 30 years ago, did you ever envision something uh, this uh, gigantic? No, not when you're starting out and it's about 60 million in sales or, you know, 130 million when we went to member-owned. It's, uh, it's been nothing but a, but a positive uh, outlook, so it's great. Lots of good stuff going on in Omni. Thanks as always, Bob. Appreciate it. For more on the Omni Spring Meeting, read the March issue of Supply House Times.